On this episode of Jafuto's Movie Blog, Kevin Spacey will no longer appear in the upcoming film All the Money in the World. I'll give you the details coming up. Welcome back to Jafuto's Movie Blog. I'm Jeff Malicki, and if you love movies as much as I do, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I bring you movie news, movie reviews, trailer reaction videos, box office predictions, and so much more. So hit that subscribe button, and then click the little bell notification icon so that you don't miss anything. In an unprecedented move, Sony Pictures has announced that they are removing Kevin Spacey from the upcoming film All the Money in the World, which is set to be released on December 22nd. The role of J. Paul Getty will now be played by Christopher Plummer in scenes that will be reshot in the upcoming weeks. This news comes after Netflix announced that they had suspended production on House of Cards Season 6 and that they would not be moving forward with the release of the film Gore, which was in post-production, starring and produced by Kevin Spacey, amid sexual assault and harassment allegations. All the Money in the World follows the kidnapping of 16-year-old John Paul Getty III and the desperate attempt by his devoted mother Gail to convince his billionaire grandfather to pay the ransom. When Getty Sr. refuses, Gail attempts to sway him as her son's captors become increasingly volatile and brutal. With her son's life in the balance, Gail and Getty's advisor become unlikely allies in the race against time that ultimately reveals the true and lasting value of love over money. The true life drama is based on a book by John Pearson and is directed by Ridley Scott. This news broke last night while I was at work and I was... I didn't know what to make of it. This news just does not make a whole lot of sense to me. It is going to cost Sony God knows how much money to reshoot all of Kevin Spacey's scenes at the last minute with Christopher Plummer. And honestly, I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it financially. The movie probably isn't going to make a whole lot of money anyway. And now the production cost is just going to skyrocket with all these last second unscheduled reshoots. Now look, I totally get where they're coming from. If the allegations are true, Kevin Spacey is a dirtbag along with Harvey Weinstein, Andy Signor, and all the rest that have been exposed in recent months. I totally understand Sony's trepidation about releasing a film featuring Kevin Spacey at this time. And it would be one thing if the movie had just started production, or was only a few weeks into production. Actors get replaced all the time because they don't work out for whatever reason. One of the most famous examples is Eric Stoll's being replaced by Michael J. Fox as Marty McFly in Back to the Future. But for them to redo this so late in the game, after the film had already wrapped, after the promotional cycle had already begun to kick in, with about six weeks left until the scheduled release, this is completely unheard of. And I w I'm going to be honest, I will say that my anticipation of this movie is now heightened because I want to see how they pull this off. But what do you think about all this? Do you think that Sony should have released the film as is? Do you think that it makes sense for them to replace Kevin Spacey this late in the game? Do you think that they should have scrapped the film altogether? Whatever you think, leave a comment down below. Let's talk movies. Real quick, as long as you're here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and become a subscriber to my channel if you haven't already. And if you like what I'm doing here, and if you want to help to support future videos, head on over to my Patreon page and consider becoming a Patreon supporter. That'll wrap things up on this episode of Jeffito's Movie Blog. Thank you so much as always for watching, and until next time, I will see you at the movies. Bye-bye.